Episode number 12, The Arena Part 2. Hey, everybody, it's Dak here, and welcome to episode 12 of The Adventures of Zenonia. All right, so last episode, we we uh, started a big project. We're just calling it The Arena. We made this ring that you see me running through right now, and I'll cut off about halfway through the ring to show you the other part that we built, which was kind of the bowl, I guess you'd call it, of where the spectators are going to watch and the arena, or ooh, there's no hole here. I thought there was. Uh, where all the gladiators will fight, stuff like that. So this is basically where all the stuff is going to be in here. This is where like the pit will be and up there will be the stands. and It's going to be kind of a small battle, a pretty, not pretty small, really small battling area because that kind of makes it more intense in my opinion. But uh, today we're going to work on that little battle area. We're going to come down, down in here is going to be where the gladiators are, like prepare and stuff. We'll probably start on that. And that's probably all we're going to get today. We have a couple big things. There's a giant dome on top of this we'll have next episode. And we have a lot of wheat to place down here. But uh, for this episode, we're just going to keep working on the interior of the bowl. So just like last episode, lots of fast forwarded stuff, and we're going to get to that right about now. So to start off today, I'm going to build this platform up higher in the bowl. This is where all the spectators will be, where they can do their concessions and watch all of the fights. First off, I'm going to do a little glowstone ring around where all the seats will be, and then I'm going to build the seats out of smooth stone. After that, I'll build the rest of the platform, but for now, we're just going to do this part. This is kind of difficult because I had you saw me build that dirt ladder up and, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, and the stairs, like building down is harder than building up because I got to drop all the way down and build a platform up to where I'm building. They really need mobile ladders in this game. That would have made this a lot easier, but uh, they don't have that. So for now, this is where the spectators will sit. And then we're going to also build the part where the gladiators are going to fight. So you may have noticed already that I did cut out a couple times. That is because when I do fall off the edge, I don't want to take the time to show you me running back up that dirt ladder. As much as when that is fast forwarded, that will only take a couple seconds. That still is a lot of wasted time. This glowstone path was a little difficult for me because I kept counting and getting the count wrong and I don't know what was wrong with me I just kept doing it wrong <laughs> but uh, eventually I did get it right and then I was able to move on to the next process Now that the glowstone path or ring is complete, I do make one stone ring inside of it before I start to build down. And this is where you will see the process that I was trying to explain before but having kind of kind of a tough time. So I have to build downward because the seats don't go up because if the guy sitting in front of you was higher up, you wouldn't be able to see, as that makes sense, hopefully. And uh, I do have to build these little wood platforms to get up there and then really just place the first block because you can't place a block under a block that's below you if that makes sense if you do know how to do that and I'm just being an idiot please tell me because if there was an easier process to this that would make this so much better I've built an arena many times before or at least a staircase like this where I had to go from top to bottom it's just a, such a pain in the butt so if you do have any ideas or suggestions, that would help me a lot. Otherwise, I just have to do these little wooden platforms and then do one ring at a time. I will just show you two rings in this clip, and then I make two more rings, I believe. And after that, we will make the actual fighting ring where the gladiators will duke it out. Now we're building the walls so that the gladiators can't just jump out into the spectating area. And you'll see that I made another little wood platform, and it's just kind of a circle so that I can get around to making all of the pillars here. And then I just build the wall about five high because there's no way to glitch up a five high wall. And then I just build the wall around the whole thing. So this was kind of a boring part, but I had to be careful. I do fall off a couple times and have to build more platforms up. It's kind of annoying. I use a lot of wood 
during these clips because I'm I'm just using my dark oak to get back up because I do have some extra and I'm gonna break these pillars eventually and go down and get my oak but right now I'm just making a bunch of oak pillars in the middle of our arena so now we get to the actual fighting area for the gladiators uh, I like to make this part out of sandstone, and that is because the actual gladiator arena, they do fight on sand. So I wanted to make it like that, but as we all know, sand does not float. So I had to use sandstone because this part is suspended off the ground a little bit. I also do take the time to... <clears throat> excuse me. I do take the time to get rid of the wooden ring while I'm working on this because we don't want to have to go get that later. Might as well do all the annoying parts now. It's kind of kind of nice to just get that over with. I see a lot of mobs under me while I was doing this. I had to be really careful not to fall off and I believe I do towards the end of this clip. But it turned out to be okay. I just kind of ran away from them and didn't get killed. After this we are going to do one of the most annoying parts of the build and that is filling in the rest of the wood up by that glowstone ring we did at the beginning of this episode. So I am going to fill the rest of this part in with dark oak wood planks, uh, just like the rest of the exterior, because I like it to match like that. Uh, you'll see that I have a, a pattern here where I like to kind of make a grid and then fill the grid in, that way I don't have to sneak click the entire time. That is what I'm doing while I make the grid, is just holding sneak while stepping backwards, that way I don't fall off the block and I can just place a block next to it and keep walking. I do fall a couple times here and you will notice I go to my bed once. I figured you guys wouldn't mind a couple seconds of me just running to go to sleep because it was becoming night. And I do not want it to, to be night because then a bunch of mobs will be on me. Something I noticed that I'm going to have to deal with in a little while is under all of this is going to get really dark when I'm done building this platform. And I'm going to have to run in there with some torches and there will probably be mobs. But um, that, that shouldn't be too hard, just run around, place a bunch of torches and get out of there quick and maybe kill off the mobs one by one. It'll be a fun little game, making this build a little more exciting for me because as much as I love building, I've already built this once, so it's not as, actually more than once, but uh, it's not as easy for me to get so excited. When I say more than once, I have built other arenas, not this exact one, and um, this right here what I'm doing filling this platform is definitely the worst part about it of the million times I've done it there is one other part similar to this because you have to be up in the air and uh, shift clicking or sneak clicking it's it's a pretty annoying process but now that you have seen me in this process I am going to cut out a little bit of it I've covered about a third of it so far and I'm just doing this little grid through the entire thing and then filling it all in. So I forgot earlier to put these iron bars in and this is so that the spectators don't just walk into the battling area on accident. Uh, you can, you'll see me at the end, jump onto the top of them from the second row, but uh, that's their fault if they are purposely getting in there and getting mauled, so this is really just to protect them a little bit and kind of for decoration. You usually do have some iron bars around the battling area. After that you see that I will go below and start digging out the bottom. I'm not exactly ready for this step yet but I don't have the uh, the stone brick that I need for what I was about to do and I figured I might as well dig out this spot before I'm ready to put all the stuff in because again it's one of those kind of annoying parts to do and I might as well get it done while I'm here. So once I dig this bottom part out, I am going to make it look more like an area where the gladiators would be getting ready for battle and um, not necessarily like a lounge area where they can grab their armor and get a snack and anything like that. More, more like the old days where they would just be locked up in the cage or behind the iron bars. And that is why I mentioned a while ago that we will need some wheat. We are going to use hay bales to make it look like there's straw on the floor. And this is such a big area that we need a lot of wheat. So luckily, a long time ago, I made a wheat farm 
that I figured I would only use for trading villagers, and I'm going to have a, a much bigger use than that now. Alright guys, so I finished up the majority of digging out the bottom of it, but the, that was a lot of digging. So I left a little bit for later, and now I'm building up the sides. This is just a, a decoration. When I was done building this in my creative world, I, I didn't think there was enough to it. So I added on what we're doing here. There's going to be some stone brick siding, and it's going to kind of turn into a dome. And you may have noticed in the chest that we have had a ton of glass just sitting in there almost this entire time. This is what the glass is for. Once this reaches the top, it is going to become a glass dome. And uh, I tested it out with lots of different stained glass. We thought maybe brown to go with the dark oak or gray to go with the stone, something like that. But it really, none of it worked out that well, in my opinion. So instead, we just we decided to keep it just regular glass and uh, that's probably gonna be the most difficult thing to make like right here is pretty tough but that's probably gonna be the hardest part of this entire build because it's pretty high up in the air and a lot of it is just just a strange design so uh, we're not at that part yet though we're just building up right here on this and you'll see exactly how it comes out in a second it's kinda tough to explain I'm trying to think of words but Nothing's really coming to mind, so you'll see the final product in a second. Alright guys, so now that I've built the siding up about six blocks higher than the actual arena, I'm going to start to curve it over to kind of start creating that dome look. And you'll notice that when we do make this, I didn't go all the way around because I will have four of these little stone brick sides. And then I'll fill the rest in with glass. I'm just going to build this first one for now, and uh, I'll build the other three off camera because I don't believe you want to watch me do this three more times. If you would rather watch me uh, build everything completely instead of I show you the majority of it and then the repetitive parts take out, please say something because that, I mean, we'll take any feedback, but that's some good feedback for us. I'm not 100% sure exactly what you guys want for the building videos. I think it's been going well. I know that if I was watching somebody else build, this is what I'd be looking for. So if you do enjoy this, then tell us. If you don't enjoy how we do it, then also tell us. Kind of give us some ideas on what you prefer we do better. Alright guys, so what you're looking at here is a screenshot of the final product with the four pillars on the side you can only really see two of them from this angle and the reason I made it a screenshot was I didn't feel like doing an entire recording just so you could see basically what you're seeing in this picture you might hear Lucy in my background I apologize for that so um, that's gonna wrap it up for this episode let's recap we made the spectators area filled it all in with wood and the glowstone ring we made the gladiators area where they will be fighting and I haven't really completed all of that but for the most part I mean there's just a couple little like iron bars I gotta put in there we began to dig out the bottom area where the gladiators will prepare for battle and we're gonna need a lot of wheat to get through that and then we made the four pillars which you are still looking at at the moment and that's basically what we got done this episode it's a lot more than I thought we would and I think we can finish this project in the next episode, which is great. Thanks for watching the video, everybody. If you enjoyed it, drop us a like and a comment. Join the cul-de-sac by clicking that subscribe button. Follow us on Twitter at, at the Ed Boys, And don't forget to check out the Foxcraft website. All links are in the description.